Can you describe more the president's phone call yesterday with Leader McCarthy? He noted they don't have much of a personal relationship, so how did it go? Did he get a sense that, that there are areas where, where they will be able to compromise going forward? I'm not going to get into uh, into more details onto into their private conversation. I'm sure. I think I'm sure Leader McCarthy will have more to say on his end. Uh, but look, I think the way to look at the conversation and the president uh, speaking with uh, Kevin McCarthy is that he is willing, as he said yesterday, uh, to work uh, with uh, with uh, folks on the other side of the aisle, as he has in the past. Uh, he is willing to do things in a bipartisan way. This is a president who has uh, who has made that a priority, not just as president, but as vice president and also as senator. And so he is just as long we are delivering for the American people. That is something that he wants uh, to see, and we've done that. Let's not forget the the, um, the gun legislation. Uh, we saw movement on guns in, in, that we hadn't seen in 30 years, the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, the Chips and Science Act, uh, the PACT Act to, to actually uh, really give uh, some relief, some health care to our veterans. So there's ways that we can work together, um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see what, what, that, what the agenda will be. And is the president going to go down to Georgia to lend some support to Raphael Warnock in, in this runoff? Is that under consideration? So I don't have anything for you right now uh, to, to speak to, but clearly the president will do whatever uh, Senator Warnock needs him to do to help him win. Uh, the DNC made significant investments in Georgia this year, uh, but again, I, I don't have anything right now to, to lay out as far as any travel uh, that the president will be making. Has Warnock made a request? Uh, I, I actually have not, uh, have not heard of a request. I just don't have anything to share on that. Okay.